Hey, what's going on everyone? Tom here from Integnity. In this video, we're gonna have a look at Adobe Max. You know that conference that is happening every year? Well, this year is special because it is completely free and it's online because of COVID. So what that means is that everyone can attend. Now, the problem is there's 350-ish sessions spread across three days. So that's just ridiculous. In this video, we're gonna have a look at some of those sessions that are picked specifically for people who are interested in After Effects. Now, there's still too much stuff to go through. So this is gonna be a three-part series. The first one, this one is gonna be about After Effects. So I picked a couple of sessions. I wanna show you, you don't wanna miss those. The second video is gonna be for editors, you know, filmmakers. So we are gonna pick a couple of sessions that have premiere, audition, and stuff like that in them. And in the third one, we're gonna have a look at After Effects, premiere, and all of that again, but from a lens of social media, because, you know, it's really important nowadays to know how to make those really engaging social media posts. So let's jump into this one and look at some After Effects sessions you don't wanna miss. Okay, so Adobe Max Conference will be happening on Tuesday 20th October till Thursday 22nd of October. Now, that's about a week from when this video is going to be published on YouTube. So as you probably know, Adobe Max is a conference that's happening every year. This year is special because it's free. I don't expect Adobe to make this free forever. Definitely take advantage of this when you can, because you're literally saving thousands, you know, if you put together the price of the ticket and transport and so on. So now Adobe uses this conference to use it also to flex their muscle with new updates and what's new in the company and stuff like that. So I'm going to skip all of that. We are going to look at some After Effects sessions, specifically sessions that I think might be useful. The only reason why I'm doing this is that there is a lot happening. So they have 10 different tracks across three days. That means there's gonna be a lot of sessions that are kind of overlapping. Just keep an eye on this because you know, you cannot be on two at the same time. So let's have a look here. Uh, go to Adobe Max website. Uh, you need to log in uh, with your Adobe account. So let me just quickly do that. Okay, so this is your dashboards. Let's just click here, open catalog, because I already scheduled uh, some of those sessions. So your dashboard might actually look slightly different. Uh, you can see sessions over here, and then you have speakers. If you have someone particular in mind, uh, you can go there and just filter them by name. Uh, let's just search. I know Ben Marriott is gonna be here. It's uh, you see that it's a YouTube creator, click on him and you can see all his sessions right there. I'm going to talk about this specific session in the video number three because this is um, falling within that social media category. Now let's just go back to uh, sessions. Now you can see this session down here is happening on Tuesday the 20th uh, from 5 to 6.30 uh, p.m. Now, um, just be careful of that uh, time because I think this is synchronized with your Adobe account. So whatever you have um, set there, uh, that's gonna be your time zone here. So just keep an eye on that. I'm not 100% sure, but so that's what I'm saying, double check. So this is how you schedule class. If you like something, just click to add to schedule and that's it. Uh, your, that session has been scheduled now. Um, you can click here on my schedule and this is your whole calendar here. You can also print it out, you know, set your Slack status to do not disturb and, you know, enjoy. Okay, let's just start with the first thing that I have here for you. And it is, the session is called, So You Want to Animate After Effects for Designers. Now, each of these sessions, you can see that they have this kind of ID in front of them. That's probably the easiest way. You can also find all of these links in the description below this video. So this one is L6627A. So you want to animate After Effects for Designers part one. I need to schedule that. This one is really good for everyone who is into 2D animation. I love this one because it's After Effects for designers. I do a lot of design. I actually recently switched from Sketch to XD just because Sketch is not available on Windows. I don't think they're gonna be talking about UX design as much because both Sarah and Noel, they're from School of Motion 
and those guys are famous for really beautiful 2D animations. So this is probably going to be heavily focused on illustrations. If you're not following them on Instagram yet, you better, because I'm telling you that quality of those things that these guys are doing is just amazing. I mean, a lot of their content is actually coming from their students, which is even more impressive. Like imagine the level of skill you have to be to produce that kind of thing. So your teacher is probably a ninja in 2D animation. It's just amazing. Now, if you look here, you'll see this is part one uh, because this is actually four part session and it's over three days. So each session will be around 30 minutes. Um, so around two, two and a half hours in total. So as I said, I expect this session to dig into 2D animation rather than VFX or anything 3D related. I don't think these guys are going to be talking about that too much. So expect a lot of manual keyframes. You see, here's the thing about 2D animation. It is super time consuming. It can take you a week and longer, obviously, to create anything substantial because it involves a lot of keyframing. It involves a lot of playing with curves and stepping frame by frame and stuff like that. So uh, I don't expect these guys to go into details about or even touch anything that is, for example, expression based or, you know, like kind of preset based and stuff like that, because this is going to be custom work. You know, each animation is different and that means you know, there is probably nothing you can do apart from animating it from keyframe by keyframe. So this is going to be really good for someone who is new to 2D animation, someone probably like me. I mean, I'm more into VFX and scripting and coding, but I'm definitely going to be watching this one because, you know, there's always something you can learn in After Effects. Okay, so the next session is called Introduction to Logo and Text Animation in After Effects. See, this is definitely one of those things that you definitely gonna do at some point. Uh, doesn't matter if you're new to After Effects or seasoned professional, animating logos and text animations, it's a, it's a good skill to have, you know? Uh, so let's just go back to session catalog here and the ID for this. Oh, by the way, as I said, um, all of these IDs and links to those uh, sessions, you'll find them in the description below. So it's this one, it's presented by Aaron Stern. It's got a cool website with um, mainly Cinema 4D and After Effects tutorials called Stern Effects. I just make sure you are on English version of that site. And this is a three part series, so don't forget to schedule the remaining two as well. Here Aaron is promising to teach you 3D layers and how to use them effectively with lights and I guess shadows and materials and stuff like that. So I don't expect this to be like this super simple thing where you just scale the logo from zero to 100, you know, hoping that that's enough. Especially now, you know, because uh, Apple with their new announcements um, of redesigning this new operating system, Big Sur, they are really pushing this realistic 3D kind of feel into everything. And I think that's going to seep through into motion design as well relatively soon. I'm expecting probably next year, you will see a lot of these animations that make use of, you know, rounded edges and, um, you know, these frosted glass effects and, um, you know, reflections and little things like that you would usually find in real life. I like that. I really like that. I think we are beyond that flat design era with, uh, you know, everything being just super minimalistic and just, you know, scaling from zero to 100, hoping that's uh, going to be enough. You know, if history thought us anything, it's that when Apple releases something, it usually becomes a mainstream trend, especially with design and things like that. Uh, introduction to logo and text animation in After Effects is going to give you enough knowledge so you can actually take that and maybe create something new, maybe something new that will become the mainstream trend. I think you've probably seen this new trend in text animations, you know, these rotating uh, kind of text layers, slightly stretched and all that kind of stuff. Think about those as an addition to these basic techniques that probably Aaron is going to be teaching in this class. So I'm not expecting this class to go into super details about, uh, you know, advanced logo and text animations like that, but this should give you a solid understanding so you can take that and maybe create a new trend yourself. 
Okay, so the next class is called Transforming 2D Design to 3D Animation in After Effects. Uh, it's S6608. Again, all of those links are in the description. So this is a short class. It's only 30 minutes long. It's presented by Ian Robinson. And I picked it because I think this is really good for someone who has some kind of knowledge of After Effects, but is usually stuck within that 2D workspace. So, you know, Ian's promising to teach you how to transform those 2D layers into 3D layers and how to work with cameras and lights and materials and stuff like that so I think that's really cool um, even for seasoned professionals who might be you know the majority of their work is within that 2d workspace so I think this is gonna be really good for for those people as well I don't think this class is gonna go anywhere near cinema 4d or you know plugins like element this is just purely to show you how that 3d workspace works in After Effects so again I think this class is gonna be really good for someone who is usually stuck within that 2D workspace, you know, you just want to refresh your understanding of that 3D system in After Effects. The next class is called Beyond the Basics of Adobe After Effects Intermediate Skills. You see, the name says it all. It's probably for people who have some basic knowledge of After Effects and they want to, you know, step it up a little bit. So it's S6604, Beyond the Basics. This one is presented by Cal Hamrick, who is a um, senior motion designer, again, from School of Motion. So I expect focus to be on 2D animation, 2D motion design, probably illustrations and stuff like that. But instead of keyframing, Kyle is gonna go deeper into what else you need to know to be able to work on a project. This includes planning and creating concepts for your animations. He's also gonna show you his own workflow, how he uses multiple Adobe applications, uh, which is cool. I mean, I hope he's gonna show how to actually pass stuff from one application to another one and then back and <laughs> that would be really cool because when it works I mean I'm talking about dynamic link of course if that works it's amazing but uh, seven out of ten times it doesn't so I'm looking forward to this one and again I see illustrator here that means he's gonna probably pass some SVGs or vector graphics from illustrator to after effects which is not as simple as it should be uh, there's also XD he's not talking about XD but now you can also pass those vector graphics from XD to After Effects, which is slightly better, but um, Illustrator is still, you know, number one in terms of vector graphics and especially illustrations. There's a cool plugin for this called Overload, and it actually can pass uh, vector graphics from After Effects into Illustrator and back. Um, so it's really cool. It works for, with gradients and everything, um, almost everything. Um, so I guess Kyle is going to mention that as well. There's also a mention of compositing techniques to transform existing footage into something new over here into something unique I'm really looking forward to this uh, just as an example recently I saw a guy on TikTok he adds one element into a single footage every day it's the same footage he just adds one more kind of illustration into it or animation or VFX and stuff like that so just imagine one footage how that footage looked you know a year ago and how it looks now it's still the same footage but with zillions of those things so maybe Kyle is going to be talking about something like that as well and then also some everyday workflow and expression tips for working faster and more efficiently which is something I think all of us need, right? The only downside of this is that this is only 30 minutes long, so, you know, adjust your expectations accordingly. And my final recommendation is S9027, presented by Miyako Okubo. Just one thing I'll say, this is in Japanese region and it will be presented in Japanese so if you don't speak Japanese I'm not 100% sure if they are gonna have captions or stuff like that uh, Lottie animations in After Effects um, are relatively easy to make I mean the animation itself is difficult you know keyframing and stuff like that but the actual process of taking that animation from After Effects and put it into Lottie um, that is relatively simple so I think you will get the gist of this thing anyway for illustrations definitely Lottie is the way to go uh, because you can create really advanced animations in After Effects export them into this really tiny format and put it on your website you know it has like few a few bytes probably or kilobytes or whatever so for a lot of use cases Lottie will be way better than pre-rendered video or anything like that there are also several marketplaces like this one for example where you can sell these animations which is really cool because uh, you know developers usually 
well, I don't want to say everyone, but developers usually don't know how to animate properly. So you animate it for them and they will be really happy that they can actually use Lottie files instead of, you know, videos or anything like that. So it's really cool to make some dollar here and there as well. You know, some passive income, why not? Although this session is only 30 minutes long, I think you will get the basic understanding because, as I said, exporting Lottie from After Effects is not that difficult if you know what you're doing. And also working with Lottie files is not difficult at all and putting it on your website and stuff like that. Really easy, super simple. So yeah, definitely schedule this one as well because it's something new and it's always good to learn new cool things, right? Now, one thing I'll mention here is if you go here, and choose region. A lot of these classes are presented in Japanese. They are really, really good, proper good. There was one, uh, how to build a proper machine for After Effects. That one is really good as well. Uh, so definitely check those. As well. Again, I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna include captions, but if you understand Japanese, Good to go. Those classes are really, really good. Anyway, so there are two more videos coming up. So this one was about After Effects. The second one will be about editors or for editors. So we're going to cover topics like Premiere, Audition and stuff like that. And the third one is going to be for people who create engaging content on social media by using Adobe tools. Uh, that usually involves After Effects, you know, a little bit of Premiere and probably a little bit of XD as well. So I'll cover all of that in the third video. Now, if I'm missed something, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like. It helps me a lot. And of course, don't forget to subscribe everyone in your family.